Welcome guys, welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, my name is Joey aka Rezzy and today I'm going to show you how to play Escape from Tarkov on your PC with your Xbox controller. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Be sure to hit the like, subscribe button. Thank you very much. I love you all. Alright guys, so the first step in order to play Escape from Tarkov with your console player, you're going to need a Steam account. Um, if you don't have one, the link's in the description. Go and download Steam, create an account, it's free. Once you create an account, Step two. Two is going to go to Escape from Tarkov's website. Link will be in the description also. Go here. Pre-order your game. Uh, Pre-order the game. It's going to be right here. You can just click on this link and pre-order whichever one you want to. Once you pre-order it and you pay for it, I think it starts at 44, ends at 95. Once you pre-order the game, give it about 10 or 15 minutes. It won't pop up right away, um, but you're going to give your you're going to get your uh, download link. And it's not going to be via email. It's going to be on your profile right here in the top right corner. Go to profile and it will pop up and it will send this, okay? Click install and it will download the Battlestate Launcher. And the Battlestate Launcher looks like this. Once you get the Battlestate Launcher um, opened up, you can install the game. It don't take too long. It took me about 30 or 45 minutes. I run at 400 megs per second. If you're curious, um, it may take longer for you. Once you get that downloaded, uh, the next step is going to be uh, to open up your Steam account. Go to your Steam account. You get logged in. You want to go to Games. It's going to be add a non-Steam game to my library. And it's going to be Battlestate Game Launcher. Click this, add selected programs. It will now show up in your games. Okay, if we go to library, it's right here. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go to big picture mode, top right hand corner. Click this and uh, cover your ears because it's very loud. Alright, so once you're inside here, the first thing we need to do is go to settings, a little gear up here in the top right hand corner, go to controller settings, be sure and have Xbox configuration support clicked. Okay, once you have it clicked, you can plug in your Xbox. If you already have it plugged in, it's already recognized, it doesn't matter, just make sure it's, it's selected, you're good to go. Alright, we're going to go back, we're going to click on library, and we're going to go to games, and we're going to go back right here to the Battlestate game launcher. Click on this. And we're going to go to Manage Shortcuts, Controller Configuration. Now you can browse configurations if you want to. Go to your community, sort by votes, pick out whichever one you want to. You can preview these, that way you see what they are. If you want to do that, you'll just click on this and you'll click um, Apply Configuration. Bingo, it's done. You're good to go. All right, let's say you don't want to configure You don't want to borrow somebody's configuration. You want to make your own. Uh, it's pretty easy. You want to change your Y, okay? How this is, you, you you select your Y button and you have these different presses. Regular press, long press, double press. You can do um, uh, start press, release press, corded press. I don't even know what that means. Um, but so pretty much is regular press. You know, he makes it two and three. Okay, so he did two and three. In order to do this, you need to toggle multi button on. You can select two and three back. Well, I selected it one more time. So let's just two, let's do multi-button on, select two and three, two and three. All right, then you had the long press. Long press is going to be V, it's going to be for your knife. All you do here is you'll select long press, select on the binding, select V. That's it. You know, there's no save button, you just click back and it saves it. All right, and then you have your double press, which is one, is going to be your pistol. And all I did was, is he selected double press, binding, it's going to be one, back. That's it. All right, um, so, and another one that's gonna be, kind of throw some people off is your joystick mouse. Um, you wanna make this your joystick mouse because your um, your left analog stick is gonna be your WASD, is gonna be your movement back and forth, front, backwards, right, left, okay? Uh, your click action, you can make this whatever you want to. He makes it E. E is gonna be your lean to your right, so it's kinda like uh, um, PUBG. I think PUBG was like that. You would click, the click that button and lean right. This is the better laid out one because it has WASD. So with it being a left analog stick, you can change this to be whatever you want to. And you need to change it to a directional pad. The reason being is you need to make it like you're pushing the W, A, D, and S buttons on your keyboard. So it gives you four options and you can apply them. You just click on the options, regular press W, okay? W, move forward, W. All right, and then you go back. And then A is gonna be move left, select A, same thing over and over and over, okay? Do this throughout the whole thing. And you can, like I said, you can change this for, this is default. When you're in the menu, you can change it how you want to. Um, 
You can add another action if you want to, like aiming or whatever you want. Once you get everything settled, you, you find the one you like, you apply it to your controller, or you make your own and you, comply, or you apply it to your controller. The next thing to do is going to be to, um, it's going to be hit exit to get back out on your keyboard, and it's going to be to go play the game. All right, so we're going to click play. It's going to pull up the Battle State launcher, and it will, then you click play. You should be able to, you can see I'm moving it now with my controller, um, not with my, not with my mouse or anything like that. You can see. And it'll load this up, and then you can uh, you can play the game. And I hope this helped. And if it did, leave a like, subscribe. I highly appreciate it. Leave a comment below if you need any help. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to help. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing many gameplays from you guys playing with controllers on YouTube. Tag me on them. Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, whatever. Add me. I want to see them. All right. You guys take it easy. Enjoy. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. You didn't stand a chance, brother. Come on. What?